Hello everyone, thank you for watching. My name is Yaniv Hoffman. And today we'll speak about red team versus blue team. We'll speak about what does it mean, their benefits, how do they work, some examples and scenarios, use cases, and we'll finish with what is a purple team as well. Hope you will enjoy. Let's start. So the terms red team and blue teams are often mentioned when we discuss cybersecurity. Associated with army, these terms are used to describe teams that use their skills to mock an attack that enemies might use and other teams to defend it. Both red and blue teams consist of cybersecurity professionals whose aim is to defend an organization from cyber attacks. The primary purpose of the two teams is to harden the security of an organization. The majority and the differences between the two is that the red team simulate a cyber attack and break into defenses of an organization, while the blue team defends and responds to the red team cybersecurity attack. Cybersecurity attacks and its response exercise of both red and blue teams plays vital role in defending the key assets of an organization from a cyber breaches in today's environment in the following ways. One, it identifies vulnerabilities related to the systems, technologies, and people. Second, it identifies areas of improving in defending the cybersecurity of an organization. Third, assist organizations to detect and contain the effects of a cyber attack. And fourth, developing an incidence response plan to restore the business operations of organization after an incident. So what is a red team? Why does your security team need it? So a red team is a group of offensive security professionals whose job is to attack the core defensive mechanism of organization. These are a group of ethical hackers who work independently and use a variety of techniques and tools to assess and evaluate the cybersecurity defense controls. Just like hackers, they gather a variety of information about the people, technology, processes, and IT infrastructure to find and exploit the vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access to organization assets while avoiding detection. The red team then put forward action plan and recommendation to protect the target systems and technologies from the external and internal intruders. Your security team will need it because the goal of the red team is to identify attack vectors that might be used by the real-world attacker to gain unauthorized access to your network and systems. By adopting Red Team's approach, an organization will be able to assess the core defense mechanism that are deployed to protect the systems and the network from real-world threats. Red Team plays a vital role in accurately accessing the detection, prevention, and defending key assets from cyber attacks. So how does Red Team work? Red Team uses a number of techniques to stimulate cyber attack against an organization. First, the team uses a variety of tools such as packet sniffers, network mappers, and OSINT tools to gather vulnerable information about the target systems. Once they gather required information, they scan the target system for known and unknown vulnerabilities and then devices as, as an action plan to target those vulnerabilities. After identifying the vulnerabilities, the red team exploits these vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access to the target systems. Then the red team uses post-explosion privilege escalation techniques to gain full control of the target networks or system. So what is a blue team? According to NIST, a blue team is a group of cybersecurity professionals responsible to protect an organization's information system by maintaining its security posture against the attackers. Their job is to protect the organization from any kind of threat in cybersecurity. If red team is simulating an attack against the information assets, then the blue team is playing defense to protect these assets. 
The blue team consists of a group of incident response and cybersecurity professionals whose job is to provide guidance to the cybersecurity team to take security measures to protect the organization, internal network and systems from intruders. The security team is then responsible to take these measures to protect and key information assets and the internal network of an organization from cyber threats. So how does the blue team work? The following procedure is adopted by the blue team to defend the organization information system and internal network from the attackers. So first they gather information and documents related to the asset that needs to be protected and then conduct risk assessment. Following that, the team then harden the security of the systems by placing security controls, implementing security policies, and by educating the organization's employees. The next stage is monitoring tools that are then placed to monitor and log any unusual activities. Besides that, the blue team performs DNS audits, scanning internal network for vulnerabilities, and capture network traffic to detect anomalies. Also, the blue team is involved in installation and configurations of firewalls, antivirus programs, and developing and implementing incident response plans. So what are the benefits of red and blue team? Using both red team and blue team strategy allows organizations to take advantage from cybersecurity professionals of different skill set and mindset. It raises healthy competition among skillful cybersecurity professionals which led the organization to increase their performance in improving its security posture. For any organization, Red Team is vulnerable because it identifies vulnerabilities, but they can only highlight the current security posture of organization or network. On the other hand, the Blue Team ensures that security measures are strong enough to protect the organization from internal and external intruders. However, the key advantage of using combined strategy of red and blue team is the continuous improvement in the cybersecurity of an organization by finding vulnerabilities and then mitigating the risk of these vulnerabilities by implementing appropriate security controls. Besides this, red and blue team strategy can let the organization to find vulnerabilities and misconfigurations in existing IT infrastructure, are the network security to monitor and prevent a cybersecurity breach, increase cooperation among the IT staff to harden the security of the organization, increase awareness among the staff to respond to the cybersecurity breaches, build the capacity and maturity of organization cybersecurity capabilities. So how do they work together? Communication between the blue and the red teams plays an important factor for successful exercise between the two teams. The red team always finds new strategies and techniques used by the hackers to gain unauthorized access to the target systems, while on the other end, blue team finds solutions to defend the critical information assets from organization. The red team put their suggestion to the blue team in order to improve the security posture of the organizations. In real uh, scenarios, the working collaboration between the two teams depends on the goal of simulated attack. If the simulated attack anticipates the real world scenario, then the red team is not required to inform the blue team. But in some scenarios, the red team has to inform someone who leads the blue team. Once the simulation is complete, both teams collect information and record their finding. If the red team is successful in penetrating the target system, then they put forward their suggestion to the blue team to avoid the similar real-world attacks. Similarly, the blue team also let the red team know about their incident response plan and how their defenses mechanism detect and block the malicious traffic in simulated attack. The red and blue teams then work together to plan, develop, and implement strong security controls to mitigate the risk of similar attacks in the future. Sample scenario example. The following scenario show how the red and the blue team can work together to enhance the security posture of organization. Scenario one, systems and network exploitation. 
The red team scanned the information systems and exploited the vulnerabilities they found during footprinting and vulnerability scanning by using techniques used by the real-world attackers. The blue team, with the cooperation of security teams, can and analyze the network and systems to find the source and destination of the attack. Scenario 2. Command and control. Once the red team exploit the target vulnerabilities of network and systems, the team then escalate and expand their attack to critical IT infrastructure of the network. The blue team, along with the security team, closely monitor the traffic and look for the areas that might be compromised. Scenario 3. Operations. The red team tries to escalate privileges, expanded the stimulated attack to the organization IT infrastructure and key assets. The blue team tracks attackers activity, evaluate the objective of attackers, assess the current defenses mechanisms, predicts the future activities of attackers, and devise security measures to contain such attacks in the future. Scenario 4. Post-attack scenario. The blue team, in collaboration with the security team, consistently monitors the network traffic, developing security defenses strategies and narrates that cyber events that target the network and information system of the organization. To ensure complete understanding of simulated uh, attack, Red Team provides comprehensive details about the simulated attack they have performed against the organization's internal network. They work with the Blue Team and security team to review the response plan, lessons learned, and activities in order to improve security posture of the organization. Some red and blue team exercises example. Red team exercise example. Variety of techniques have been used by the red team to exploit the vulnerabilities present in the IT infrastructure of an organization. Red team can either inject a malware to the target system or steal user credential of an employee to social engineering attack. Common framework that is being followed by red team is Mitre attack framework which is globally accessible framework, consists of techniques and methods based on real-world cyber attack scenarios. Some of the red team exercise examples are penetration testing in which a red team gain unauthorized access to a system or network, social engineering attack which the attackers manipulate employees to install malware or install credential information, man in the middle attack, in which the red team has, uh, intercepts the organization communication, cloning, in which the red team clone an organization website to trick users or create duplicate copies of physical access cards to gain unauthorized physical access to the servers and other restricted area of organization. Blue team exercise example. The blue team uses a number of techniques, tools, and security systems to protect the organization from known and unknown threats. Some of the exercises that the blue team performs are conduct footprinting and vulnerability scanning to find security holes in the organization network and systems, monitor network traffic through security tools to find malicious activity in network traffic, ensures that firewalls, antivirus, intrusion detection system, Web application firewall DDoS and prevention system are properly configured and up to date. Ensure least privilege access to the end users in order to limit user access to the internal network resources. Perform DNS auditing and research. Ensure that employees are properly educated to avoid social engineering attacks. So what is a purple team and why it is needed? And it's important to know that the common goal of red and blue team is to strengthen the overall cybersecurity posture of organizations. I think that we understood. But sometimes, like in real life, they are not aligned to share their common goals. For sometimes, red team might not interested to share the information about vulnerabilities they found during simulations with blue team. That's why concept of purple team was introduced by the cybersecurity professionals to make sure that the red and the blue team work together for common goal of the organization. A purple team is not a distinct team, but it's a combination of red and blue team members. The objective of purple team is to bring red and blue team together to share information 
and work together to form a strong feedback loop. Think of Purple Team as a cybersecurity approach that let both teams to share real-time data to develop strong security posture of organization. The Purple Team's approach assists both teams to improve their strategy to protect organization from known and unknown security risks. The Blue Team becomes more informed to detect, prioritize and defend against cyber attacks, while the Red Team gain insight into technologies and defenses mechanisms used in cybersecurity industry. To sum it up, you might think that when it comes to choose either Blue or Red Teams, which one you will prefer to choose? The answer is that if your organization wants strong security posture to protect its internal network and information assets from any kind of cyber breach, then it's possible with two teams working together. Every, every industry that cares about the cybersecurity needs to know about the importance of working together for those of these two teams. The unity of both teams is the only way really to fight the cybersecurity threats. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like, please subscribe, please push the like button, leave your comments in the description below, and until the next video, see you.